Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here, and today we're just going to go through the process of how to create a Google form. Now, as you can see, we're just starting off from a generic google.com homepage. And if the first step wasn't obvious enough, we first need to actually reach the Google Forms website. So if you're starting from the generic Google homepage, what you can do if you are currently logged in is go to the upper right corner where you will see a bunch of buttons. If you go to the one with nine buttons it's and you hover your mouse over it, it's going to read out Google Apps. Simply click this button and as you can see, you can basically access this quick menu that can direct you to any of the features that Google provides with most of their accounts. So if you scroll to the bottom, you're going to see docs, sheets, and for this video, we want to select forms. I'll simply hit that button. And as you can see, it'll bring you to the starting page for creating a Google form. Now, to start a new form, you're going to have to refer to this top menu over here. Now, you do have the option of starting from a blank page. So basically when you do select this, there shouldn't be any current edits or templates that are already included in your design. But if you are not too picky about the design and if you're okay with using something that has some pre-made designs, you can then hit this button called template gallery and choose from the variety that Google provides. Now, while we would usually typically use a template just for this video, we're gonna start off with a blank one. Now, as you can see, this is what you're probably gonna see when you first open a blank Google form. From the top, you can see it asks for a title and a description. So depending on the purpose of your Google form, you're gonna wanna give it a corresponding title. So let's just say we have a quiz. And from description, this quiz will be used to test your knowledge. Now, following this, you can see there aren't any questions below this. But that's all right, because for now, we're just going to go through the process of how to edit a question. So what you're first going to want to do is basically have your question listed in this section where it reads out untitled question. So for our purposes, let's just say, what is two plus two? And depending on the question, you can also change what kind of answer that the respondent has to give. So let's say I want to give a multiple choice question. I will just keep it as is. And as you can see, I can also edit the options of questions. So I'll make a few answers. And just to add more options, you just have to hit the add option bot button. Now, well, what if you don't want it to be a multiple choice question? Or if you want a specific type of answer to be given, you can then go to the corner, right corner of the specific question section where you will see a drop down menu for different types of answers. So let's say I want them to basically come up with the answer themselves by giving a short answer. Once I've selected short answer, as you can see, the options below the question change accordingly. Thankfully, Google Form provides a lot of possible questions that can be asked, and a lot of answers that can be given. So it's just a matter of choosing what you want for the purpose of your poll or survey. Now, now that we have the first question down, we are brought to the second issue of how to add more questions. Now, once you've selected a section, as you can see, this little menu on the right follows whichever section you're selecting. So just note that when you're trying to add a question, basically the new question will typically appear below the section you've selected. So what if I want the question to appear below this first question we've already made? You then just have to go to this little menu, select the first button, which has a plus sign. And if you hover your mouse over it, it should read out add question. Once you select it, as you can see, a new question will appear below. The same can be said if I were to select the title section, even though um, there's already a question existing below it, if I were to simply click add, a question will appear between the title section and the already existing question. Now. Let's just say that you're currently happy with how your Google form looks. You've changed the title section, you've given a description, you have all the questions you want. The next step is to really just send out this new Google form. To do that, you're first going to want to head to the upper right corner of the page where you'll see a send button. Simply click that send button and as you can see, Google provides different ways for you to send your form out. Now, one of the most common ways to send your form to possible respondents is through email. So you simply have to know which email you want to send it to. For example, 
let's just have that email down and as you can see you can even send a message and a subject which will basically give them an idea of what kind of form you're sending to them you can also include the form and email if you so desire but if not it should typically show a link through which they can then access the google form once you're happy with the email you can then just hit send another common way to send out your google form is through a shareable link now if you're to go to the second option with a link button you click it as you can see there is already a link and just so you know this link does not show the editable form of the google form this only shows the answerable form so if you were to copy it the google form would not look like this to whoever has this link if another person were to copy it they would see this version which basically asks them to answer and submit instead of the editable form and that's about it Hopefully this helps you better manage your Google Forms and any data collection you might be doing. Be sure to like and subscribe and if you need any more help with managing your Google Forms, check out the rest of our channel using either the link on the upper right corner of this video or right below the video. See you next time!